scrambling into position to catch an historic moment. Two leaders with many enemies sharing a handshake. I'm glad to see you, says President Putin. This is our new Cosmodrome. With translators and security flanking them, Kim Jong-un replies, thanks for inviting us during your busy schedule. But that's exactly why the North Korean dictator has come on this unusual VIP excursion of a space base in the Vestochny Cosmodrome in Russia's Far East. The president plays tour guide here, knowing his audience has plenty of what he needs, ammunition for his war in Ukraine. It's been 566 days since the full-scale invasion, with Russian troops reportedly running low. Meanwhile, the autocrat of one of the world's most secretive states wants something in return for his first overseas trip in four years, advanced space technology. He's tried and failed twice to launch surveillance satellites this year. As the official meeting begins, reporters are told both countries will cooperate in sensitive areas with no more detail, except this from both leaders. Of course, we need to discuss economic cooperation and humanitarian issues, the situation in the region. Russia is waging a sacred fight to defend its sovereignty, security interests and justice against the hegemonists. And we have always expressed full and unconditional support for the actions taken by the Russian government. I take this opportunity to affirm that we will always stand with Russia on the anti-imperialist front. That new closer relationship after only the second meeting between the leaders was preceded by a warning from the UN and US that any weapons deal will break international sanctions on Pyongyang's arms programme. Washington went further warning North Korea will pay a price if it goes ahead and supplies Russia's war machine.